everyone, welcome to the grand finale of the Wiz Award 2020. Um, here live from Studio Z in Leeuwarden. Um, my name is Agnes Dirksen of the Water Alliance and together with my partners in crime, Alex Birhitu and Farah Qureshi, we are your host for this exciting afternoon. Yes, also from me a warm welcome to the sixth edition of the Water Alliance Innovation Stimulation Award. Due to the COVID-19 restrictions, we had to modify this podium in this digital format. Nevertheless, our outreach has continued to grow. Instead of 300 people in one conference room, we now broadcast this live event into more than 300 rooms of our registered guests. So many of you are tuning in for the first time. Agnes, I think it would be good if we do a short introduction of this competition. Yes, sure, Alex. Um, the WIS Award is an initiative of the Water Alliance to stimulate and promote innovative water technology. And this grand final is the decisive stage of this competition and will determine who will be the winner and receive a prize package of 10,000 euros. But Agnes, it's not up to us to decide who is going to be the winner. It is you. You at home have voted on your favorite innovation. And your vote, together with all the votes of the public jury, will be brought to us via our media partners a little bit later on. And finally, our professional jury will have a decisive role in determining the winner. Yes, indeed, Alex. But let's not forget the most important guest of this program. And that, of course, are our candidates. And let's go to Fora because she is waiting with our seven finalists in the Blue Room. Well, Fora, how is the atmosphere in the Blue Room? Well, the atmosphere is pretty tense because I'm here in the WIS 2020 Blue Room, which is a virtual hangout for our candidates today. And I named this virtual because we have an empty couch, but we have our candidates on screen. So today is a big day. Um, we will know who the big winner is of the WIS Awards, but let's ask our candidates how they are. Finalists, welcome. Can you hear me properly? So can you unmute yourselves? Because I am dying to know what you guys are feeling right now. Is everything going well? Yes, it's going good. Good. Are you excited for this competition? Definitely. Great. Yeah, well, super excited. Well, it's great to see all of you and have all of you here. So let's see how our candidates will do. So studio, back to you. Yes, well, winning the WIS Award, um, in any case, that guarantees a lot of international success. Take a look at our last winner of the WIS Award, and that was the Hydroloop, a water uh, a purification system for houses and offices. Um, after winning the WIS Award, they got massive attention, and from then they won several awards. Well, especially for our candidates, Sabine Stuiver has um, made a special video message. And I'm very curious what Sabine has to say. So like a uh, take a look at the film. Well, two years ago, Hydroloop won the WIS Award. And of course, this was a fantastic recognition for our technology by the esteemed uh, jury. But well, thereafter, you know, you, you just continue to work very, very hard. And that is what we did. So we, went to, we gave dozens of presentations. We went to 26 international exhibitions worldwide. And then last January came the CES in Las Vegas. And this was the 27th exhibition we went to. And there our brand and our product was catapulted all over the world. Well, since then, a lot has happened. Uh, we have expanded our team. We are now 13 full-time staff. We're at these beautiful Wetsus offices where we are having our head office now. Uh, we had lunch uh, with our king and queen. We won the Sprout Challenger 50 award for most challenging company. Uh, we feature in the Brave New World documentary on Netflix. And I'm very happy to say, since a couple of days, we've been able to say that Hydroloop is fully funded so we can now roll out our business plan worldwide. So this is what happened to us in two years' time. It's a roller coaster. We worked very, very hard. So work hard, follow your dreams, and if we can do it, you can do it too. 
Thank you, Sabine. Follow your heart. And uh, now it is time to look at our new innovations. It is time for the pitches. Allow me to introduce our first candidate, Simon Jagers from Semiotic Labs. Welcome, Simon. Thank you. Simon, uh, you will be pitching the SEM4. And uh, Simon, you call yourself a company evangelist. What is a company evangelist? Well, I suppose it's about um, sharing our work with others. I think it's about inspiring others, just like I was inspired a couple of years ago when I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Secretary General Kofi Annan of the United States at uh, Volpak's 400th birthday. And he offered some advice. He said, when we were talking about the potential of AI, he said, uh, technology is only as good as its ability to bring out the best in people, to make a difference in the world around us. And I think it's about sharing that message and how we are working on improving the world around us. Simon, I see you created for yourself a beautiful digital podium with all the nice books. Are you ready to pitch your SEM4? Absolutely. Then your two minutes starts now. So our water infrastructure is aging. The pipes and pumps that make up that system are failing to an extent that stakeholders like the European Water Agency and the American Association of Civil Engineers are sounding the alarm. We need to act now. However, there's not a single quick fix to this problem. We need a new set of policies. We need more resources. We need a sense of urgency. But that costs time. What we can do today is use the available resources more effectively. For instance, every year about a million pumps fail, but we don't know which one, so we're always too late. So what if we did know which pumps would fail and when? What if we could monitor them based on a scalable, easy to implement monitoring solution priced at a level that it enables large scale rollouts? Now that would have a big impact. And that is exactly what we offer. SAM4 is our smart condition monitoring solution for pumps that monitors 24 seven, detects over 90% of upcoming failures up to five months in advance and sends an alert when that happens so that maintenance engineers can schedule inspections, repairs, or replacements well before their assets fail. It is unique technology because unlike traditional vibration-based systems, it installs inside the motor control cabinet where it analyzes electrical waveforms based on machine learning algorithms. This allows us to bring high-end detection accuracy and entry-level cost. This allows us to give you not just condition information, but also about the condition, performance, and energy consumption. Now, I believe we can make an impact. And if you feel the same, please do reach out. SEM4 is available across the globe. And I believe that together, we can make the water industry better, safer, and more reliable. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Simon, for your fantastic pitch. And next up, we have Royal Brinkman with their innovation, the nanobubbles. And the nanobubbles is a technology that keeps oxygen in the water and keeps it oversaturated for a long time. Well, nanobubbles will be pitched by Rogier Cameron, but unfortunately, he, uh, due to some private circumstances, he will not be able to pitch live. But luckily, um, he sent us our, uh, his pre-recorded pitch. So um, let's start his pitch. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. My name is Rogier Cameron, Innovation Specialist at the Royal Brinkman. We're here at the greenhouse in which we implement, implemented our innovation, the nanobubble generator. The nanobubble generator is an aeration technology for professional horticulture that improves the water quality by enriching water with nanobubbles from purified oxygen. Using purified oxygen, we can get up to 4.8 times normal saturation levels. And with an extreme high conversion rate from gas to liquid, the aeration process is also very energy efficient. As a son of a farmer, I've grown to see the increasing importance of water quality for future-proof cultivations. Warmer summers affect oxygen level in water and stimulate algae growth. 
By using nanobubbles in irrigation water, we can get high levels of oxygen into the root zone of plants. This creates healthier roots and increases pathogen resistance and it stimulates the uptake of nutrients, what result in higher nutritional values and yield. Second, nanobubbles counteract algae growth in water basins by stimulating the breakdown of organic material by aerobic bacteria. Concluding, we are keen to win the WIS award as the nanobubble uh, generator accelerates the horticultural sector towards a sustainable future. Nanobubbles resolve pro problems in water quality while providing healthier fruit and vegetables. Thank you. If there are any questions, please let me know. Thank you, uh, Rogier, and uh, our thoughts are with you. Um, allow me to introduce our third candidate, <coughs> Marissa de Boer from Susfors. Hello, Marissa. Hello, I, uh, Alex. <laughs> Marissa is co-founder and CEO of Susfors, but sees herself more as an innovation manager. Marissa will be pitching the Susfire, a sustainable solution that gives a uh, different perspective on waste. Marissa, I see you have chosen a comfortable place to broadcast your pitch. Where are you broadcasting from? Well, actually, during this COVID time, uh, I, I just uh, do it from home. Um, yeah, so actually in my own house, so uh, very comfortable indeed. Okay. <laughs> well, Marissa, are you ready for your pitch? Definitely, Alex. Then I would say, Take your two minutes and pitch the uh, Susfire. Yes, so almost everything you see in your room right now, the chair or couch you're sitting on, the table, your mobile phone, curtains, all are impregnated with flame retardants to make our homes and offices safe. A huge market. But all these flame retardants come from fossil mines, which are limited and polluting resources. And most of all, many flame retardants are toxic. Therefore, there's a need for sustainable and safe flame retardants. What if we can produce safe flame retardants out of <coughs> wastewater? And this is exactly what we do at Susfos. My name is Marissa de Boer, founder and CEO of Susfos, and we convert wastewater byproducts into high quality flame retardants and fertilizers. Our technology is protected by multiple patents, and it's a chemical process with a low CO2 footprint and no waste generation. Our TON pilot plant will produce test samples at the demo site of Wetterskip Friesland to create traction at the customer site and to prepare us for our rollout with our first factory in the Netherlands and then in other countries in Europe. We do this with a great team, both experienced and energetic team members and are supported by several experienced companies and advisors in the field. We will be the first to produce high quality flame retardants out of waste and therefore create a profitable way to solve a large environmental issue and at the same time to reduce the use of fossil products. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you Marissa for explaining the Susfire. It's a fantastic innovation from this pioneering company uses chemistry for a better world. Well, our next picture is a well-known application manager from Berghof Membranes, Claudia. Are you there? Welcome to the stage. Hello, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Well, Claudia, how are you feeling today? This exciting afternoon. Yes, absolutely exciting uh, afternoon. It's always uh, nerve wracking to be uh, uh, in such kind of uh, competition, but also super enthusiastic in showing to the world our innovation. Yes, I know. And you are at home, uh, as I see. Yes, yes, I am at home, uh, like uh, so many others during this uh, COVID times. Uh, we are working from home, uh, adapting to, to the new situations uh, that, uh, that we are facing. Yes, well, that's true. Uh, well, are you ready to pitch your innovation, the Turbia Forward Osmosis? Of and, course. And then the course. two minutes will start now. So, good afternoon to the all uh, audience. Um, my name is again Claudia and I work at the Berghof Membranes, the leading manufacturer of tubular ultrafiltration membranes for the treatment of industrial wastewater and processed drinks. 
I am Portuguese. I am married with a French man living and working in the Netherlands. And the first time I actually had the experience of drinking real coconut water outside of Europe was at my honeymoon. And it tasted delicious, absolutely incredible, very much unlike the packaged juices that we normally have here in Europe. One of the reasons for this is the way that fruit juices are treated for transport. In order to reduce the transportation costs, fruit juices are typically concentrated, dehydrated, freeze concentrated and processed to reduce the volume. Unfortunately, most of these concentration techniques lead to a significant loss of flavor. Using our patented innovative tubular forward osmosis membrane module, we can reduce the transportation costs while keeping the essential flavor characteristics of the fruit juices intact. With tubular forward osmosis, we can minimize storage, refrigeration and transport costs, reduce overall energy costs, concentrate challenging streams and recover valuable components for reuse. This award will actually help us to continue the innovative work for tubular forward osmosis carry out wider investigative research into other food applications, help the industry create richer flavors, and most importantly, reduce their environmental impact. Thank you very much for all your support. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you for uh, your pitch. Uh, so we have heard our first four candidates, and uh, all four have pitched their innovations. Um, but I'm also curious uh, about the state of our candidates. And therefore, let's go back to uh, Farah, to the Blue Room, and see how the state actually is with those candidates. Farah, up to you. Thank you, Alex. And indeed, I am really questioning this because I see a lot of tense faces on screen, and especially from those who are about to pitch in the next half. So I was wondering if... Claudia, for instance, you gave a fantastic pitch. Do you have some tips and tricks that you might want to share? Yes, just keep the passion alive. You love what you do. So uh, just to bring it all out and uh, it will come uh, all right. Obrigada, Claudia. De nada. <laughs> and Simon, yeah. you look so confident in your pitch. What is your secret? It's a facade, but a very oh, really? <laughs> I, I know what that feels like, people. Be, let's be honest, I know what that feels like. So I think we should go back to the studio for the second half of the pictures. So Alex and Agnes, back to you. Thank you, Fada. Yes, thank you, Farah. It's all a facade. <laughs> That's uh, quite uh, interesting. <laughs> no, nevertheless, three more pitches to go. So let's quickly go to our fifth candidate. He's already sitting there waiting for us. Let's welcome uh, Gerrit Dommerhalt from Jotun. Gerrit has been with Jotun for almost 20 years. Uh, welcome, Gerrit. Where are you uh, located from, broadcasting from? I'm, uh, I'm only, uh, only the lonely here in a, in a conference room here at Jotun. So uh, there are almost no people here like we, uh, like we have to, of course. But um, I'm sitting here alone and uh, well, getting a little bit more tense now I'm, uh, now I'm up. Well, that is nice that you're broadcasting from uh, your office. As I said, you have been working with uh, Jotun for almost 20 years. How many innovative or innovations have you seen past your office in the last 20 years? Well, quite a lot, I must say. Um, but especially the last six to seven years, we are, uh, we are, we are get generating more and more uh, new innovations, especially when it comes to uh, reuse of water, effluent reuse, 
mainly for the food and beverage industry and it's getting a, really a main issue right now to, uh, to be sustainable. And are you ready to pitch your latest innovation, uh, the smart box? Yes, of course. So then the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Alex. <coughs> My name is Gerald Dommerald from Jotun Water Treatment and we would like to introduce you with, with a problem um, which actually needs no introduction at all. 1.2 million people every year die because they do not have access to clean and safe drinking water. What if they would have had a machine which could have provided it for them in their own home villages? The answer is simple. The Odin Smart Box. The Odin Smart Box removes viruses, bacteria and particles from nearly every source like ponds, wells or rivers but can also be connected to a second smart box to even desalinate brackish water. It's engineered by dedicated people with years of experience in the fields of water treatment, but also with help of the Dutch army. It's called smart because it recognizes the quality of the intake water and automatically adjusts to that, so it will never clog or fail. It has a one button operation, so you do not have to be an expert to operate it. It only weighs 60 kilograms and has trolley wheels, so it can be easily transported in desolate areas. Um, and it also um, um, has a capacity up to 300 liters per hour, so we can provide 2,400 people every day with clean and safe drinking water. It is also provided with a battery pack, <coughs> has a capacity up to 20 hours, and in the meantime can be charged by a solar panel or car or truck adapter. We are really convinced that we can convince you to come with us at Friesenvain to see how it works. So if you all care for an eager world with everyone having access for clean and safe drinking water, please vote for us and make the smart box a worldwide known concept. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Gerrit, for your fantastic pitch. You did a great job. And now we are moving to our sixth candidate. And that is Mathieu Wolfs. And Mathieu is a senior engineer of O3 Systems. And he will pitch the fox-friendly oxidation. Well, hello, Mathieu. Hello. Hello. Um, where are you broadcasting from? Well, I'm uh, now in the airport of uh, Eindhoven and, and I'm looking to the private uh, planes from uh, the billionaires here and also to the trucks uh, uh, delivering uh, kerosene, etc. Ah, that's a nice place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's very inspiring because uh, you, uh, you look to the private planes, but also you look to uh, the shell company who is delivering uh, the fuel, etc. Okay. And all other things. But it's very quiet here. It is, uh, well, I'm going to say, normally it was very busy, but due to the corona, uh, you see nearly people. Uh, there are, uh, uh, and well, how can I say it? It's, it's not a good sign. Uh, this, this, that cannot take too long in this, this situation. No, I can, I can imagine that. Um, are you ready for your pitch for two minutes? Yes. yes? Well, you I may will. start your pitch now. Yes. Um, hello, my name is uh, Wolfs, Matje Wolfs from O3 Systems and uh, within a few days we have a new feast here, it's a feast of the light, everyone uses light for uh, getting inspired etc. But we are bringing another message because uh, in the first week of January I'm expecting my third grandson, so that's also uh, O3 Systems, but my third grandson is already carrying now all types of contaminants, nanoplastics in his body, not only in his body, but also in his brain. And that's very concerning for me, because if I look in my uh, plasma bowl, you see it over here, oh, just a moment, I see a future that is not right, because it's not only the quality of uh, foreign contaminants which are in the water, if you drink it, it's also that if you are putting it on your skin, so you take a dive, you will absorb within a short time, huge amounts of components you can't get off. And the only uh, solution to do that is uh, use a laser. And that's how it's done. And you have here a laser. I have a bottle. I expose the water to the, 
uh, the contaminated water to the laser and everything in the side of the of the laser that's such, such a powerful laser you can use lasers for everything cutting etc uh, will be removed it's not a filtration process but you convert it into the neutral components on which the earth is built and that's my message for you well thank you uh, Macho. Thank you for demonstrating also the technologies. Um, almost there. We are now uh, at our last candidate and uh, the last who will pitch the, his innovation at the uh, WIS Award uh, 2020. Rinse, I see you're on the screen, so we got the connection. Uh, where are you broadcasting from? Because I cannot really see where you're at. Yeah, this is our office at the, the Yes Delft community. It's a community with many startups where we also have our office right now. But it's actually quite empty due to the corona, unfortunately. Okay, so you're there by yourself or are there also other people in, uh, in the office? No, uh, I'm just here by myself. So all my colleagues are just sitting home watching via the hyperlink you send them. Okay, like 300 other people do, right? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, Rinsa, allow me to introduce you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this man claims to be a person who is never afraid of rolling up his sleeves and start working on new projects, always interested in new challenges and often eager to search for new and better solutions for known problems. Rinsa, let us hear all about your latest solution, the Sir Cleaner. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, seven years ago, I was on a holiday in Indonesia. And over there, I went to Jakarta to visit the Chicken Market Bridge, which is a typical Dutch bridge. However, when I arrived there, I was astonished by the huge amount of plastic that was floating underneath that bridge. So from that moment on, I thought we need to find a solution for this problem. After my holiday, I went back to the Netherlands and I started doing research towards the problem. And I found out that also in the Netherlands, every year, more than 3 million kilograms of plastic ends up in our rivers. My name is Rinse de Vries, and I'm one of the founders of Noria Sustainable Innovators. And we develop techniques that are sustainable and that solve complex problems. Our first solution for the plastic problem is called the Sure Cleaner. And it's sure cleaner since it's actually a circle that removes the plastic from the water. Here you can see how it works. The plastic is floating in the water and the water current is floating it in this direction. Then the sure cleaner is rotating and the shovel is removing the plastic away from the water. And next it will follow, fall in the hollow axis where it will, will be transported towards the side of the river. There it will be falling in a container where it can be removed every week or every month. So this is one of our solutions that can be used to remove the plastic in a sustainable manner. Last year, we already tested. One moment, I will put up the light. Yeah. That's the fun of a live uh, broadcast. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's really sustainable, but not really handy at this moment. So last year, we already tested this system at four locations in, uh, in the Netherlands and all the pilots were really successful. So now our system is ready to be installed all over the world. If we win the WIS Awards, then we can accelerate our process of installing these systems to remove the plastic. So do you want to help us remove the plastic in a sustainable manner from the water? Then please select Noria Sustainable Innovators as the winner of the WIS Award. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you. Thank you, Rinza, for your pitch. These were our seven finalists who all showed us some great innovations. Well, stay tuned because in a few minutes we will show you a short but dazzling report of the strict interview conducted by our WIS expert jury. And besides that, the election for the WIS award winner is coming right up. Uh, but first I will tell you something about how this live show and the WIS award all began. Well, the WIS Award is an initiative of the Water Alliance. And in fact, the founding father is standing next to me, Alex. Uh, Water Alliance is located at Water Campus Leeuwarden, an innovative uh, water technology 
ecosystem uh, where many interesting things are happening. But what exactly is the water campus? Well, we will show you in a short movie. Water Alliance is part of Water Campus Leeuwarden. This is a large campus, beautifully built around a small river in the middle of the city of Leeuwarden. On that campus, Water Alliance collaborates with WETSIS, the European Center of Excellence for Sustainable Water Technology, the Water Application Center and the Center of Expertise Water Technology. There is also a close cooperation with governments, universities and dozens and dozens of companies at home and abroad. The great thing about the water campus is that it facilitates every step from idea to a concrete business case for water tech companies. Innovations go through a cycle from laboratory test to test setups and upscaling to demo sites. At the last steps of this innovation ecosystem, companies also receive support with marketing and, and for instance matchmaking. So, in short, we can say that the Water Campus supports from idea to market and helps water tech companies to significantly shorten their time to market. Well, what a fantastic ecosystem and what a fantastic voiceover. So um, the candidates are back with me in the blue room and we've seen all of the pitches and honestly, they are all pretty impressive. So Gerrit, are you still with us? Yes, yeah, sure, I am. Great, how do you think your chances are? I don't have a clue, really, I don't. Well, you sure convinced us to come to Fries and Veen, so. You definitely should, you know, <laughs> Sure. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear that. And Mathieu? Yes, hello. All well? Yes, all is well, yes. Great. So we had some problems with the internet connection, but I'm really happy that you're here and that you're joining us today. Yes, yes thank you. Yes. So we have a very exciting round coming up because we will do the public voting. So Studio, back to you for this exciting announcement. Well, thank you, Farah. And now we are ready to present the public vote. A while ago, uh, you, the online viewers, had an opportunity to vote for your favorite WIS candidate through various media channels from our media partners. And um, although, uh, besides the votes of the extra jury, uh, the public votes are also be to be taken into account. And well, let's get started with our first media partner. That is actually a very good idea, Agnes. Let's walk to our media yes. partners. The first stop is uh, Jacques van Tuin from Waterforum. Let's see if we have a audio connection with, uh, with our friend Jacques. Hello, Alex. Hi, Jacques. I have to say, Jacques has been a friend of the Water Alliance for quite some years. Uh, Jacques, I couldn't hear it very well, but where are you calling from? I'm calling uh, from uh, Den Bosch. Oh. From my home office in the lovely sunshine. Uh, although I would have loved to be in Leeuwarden, but unfortunately, I have an extra. Okay, it's be to be on your show and seeing the best of the Dutch water technology today. It, it sounds from very far, but uh, nevertheless, uh, Jacques, you once told me that you like this concept of pitching innovative technologies. Um, now, let me ask to you. Could you pitch Waterforum and the top three of your votes from Waterforum in 30 seconds? I'll try. I'll do my best. Go. Um, I'd like to bring forward the votes from the, Dutch, the readers of the Dutch uh, Water Magazine the online news site of Waterforum. So here are our votes from the editorial staff of uh, Waterforum, not from us, but collected through our readers. Um, are you ready? Yes, I am. Here we go. Ranking the votes. We have a third place for an amazing ability to make high quality products from wastewater. Surfers. Surfers. Third place. Second place. 
a very topical issue of plastic soup covered on surface water. We have on the second place Noria with their circuit surf cleaner. And then we go to the final place, the first place, Do the Point from <laughs> Waterford. Here we go. It's are the nano bubbles from Royal Brinkman. Thank you, Jacques. Yes, and now are we going to our second media partner, and that is Bert Westenbrink for H2O. Um, H2O is a Dutch water technology trade magazine. And Bert, are you on the phone? Yes, I am. Hello, Bert. Well, can you please introduce yourself shortly and tell us what you do at H2O? Yes, I will. Uh, first, um, I like to say it's a pleasure to take part in this election. Thank you for that. And I really like the way I, uh, I am portrayed with a nice tie and a uh, nice suit. <laughs> well done. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Now, I'm, I'm a journalist for some decades now. Uh, first I was a reporter, then an editor, and quite some years as an editor-in-chief of uh, several titles. And now I'm editor-in-chief editor -in of H2O a uh, journal for water professionals. So as you uh, already, already said, we publish in print and online and my colleagues and I write about current developments in the water sector, innovations, water tech, and ook about the people in the Dutch water community. Furthermore, we publish research by water professionals, very important component uh, uh, compartments of our um, publishing online and in, in, in H T H two O and Water Matters. Okay, well, well, thank you very much, Bert. Uh, uh -huh. Can you please give us our, our your top three? Yes, I will. Well, uh, the third place is for uh, uh, the the company who, uh, if I was not mistaken, the public's favorite during the Waterlink uh, event late. January, almost a year ago, Susfos with Susfire. Yes. Second, the technology which enriches the water quality in the horticulture, Royal Brinkman with nano bubbles, and first, the smart method to remove plastic waste out of the water, Noria with Sur Cleaner. Thank you, Bert. Thank you, Bert. Noria Sur Bravo. Cleaner. Uh, okay, let's quickly go to our next uh, media partner. Uh, allow me to introduce uh, a woman well known in the international water tech scene. Every two years, she makes sure that Amsterdam for one week uh, is the international center for water tech. Ladies and gentlemen, Annette Bosch from Aquatech Amsterdam. Annette, do we have a connection? Are you yes, there? yes, we do. Thank you very much, Alex, for that uh, amazing uh, introduction. How do you like uh, the the clothes that we put on in this? Uh... Oh, <laughs> I really like it. It uh, gives me a, a real feel if I'm there with you guys. <laughs> okay, Annette, we are anxious to know your top three. But let me ask you another question first. Uh, will there be next year a Aquatech podium? Mm -hmm. on which we can, uh, our wish winner could actually shine. Yes, there definitely will be. We, I think in November 2021, we will have this pandemic, pandemic under control and we are able to have safe and successful events. And next to that, I think we need to meet in person again to debate, to... Uh, catch up ideas from others and to be inspired and, and learn what the most innovation, best innovations are. So yes, you are more than welcome on our live stage in Amsterdam. Thank you. And now your top three, please. Yes, the top three of the international votes from the Aquatec are a number three, Noria with the Sur Cleaner. Second one, runner up is Royal Brinkman with the nano bubbles. And finally, the winner of the international audience of Aquatech is Sosfos with Sosfire. Thank you, Annette. Yes. Well, three 
three uh, media partners with their uh, votes. And actually, I am dying to know what the rolling score is. So, Farah, could you enlighten us? Well, of course, I can enlighten you. And it is super exciting because what we can see is that Royal Brinkman is taking the lead. But Noria is not too close from them. So I think all chances are still open. So let's see what the other media partners have to say. Yes, thank you, Farah, for this update. And we're now moving to our fourth media partner. And that is also a woman, and it's Esther Rodenburg from EasyFairs. And every year, Water Alliance is present at one of EasyFairs exhibitions called the Aqua Nederland. And for many years, Esther is our permanent contact um, for many years. And um, Esther, are you there? Yes, I am. Ah. Can you hear me, Agnes? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, Esther. Um, can you give us a short introduction? What, you're, what, what are you doing at, at EasyFest? What's your function? Of course. Well, my name is Esther um, and I represent EasyFairs, uh, the organizer of Aqua Nederland. And I do this with, uh, with the whole team. And my um, job is to work with with the exhibitors. Um, and Aqua Nederland is the trade fair for Dutch water industry, uh, which takes place every March uh, in Interventen Hall in Orca. And many of the innovations that are supported by you, by Water Alliance, are uh, present at our event as well. Um, so, yeah. Well, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Esther. But can you give us your top three? Yes, uh, first of all, I'd like to give you my compliments um, to this online initiative. It's great that you offer this opportunity uh, for this fantastic innovation. So well done, team. Thank you very much, Esther. So of course, we also asked our community, so visitors and exhibitors of Aqua Nederland, uh, to vote for the 2020 Miss Awards. And I'm happy to announce our top three. Uh, number three, according to our um, water change professional is Semiotic Lab with Sam4. Number two um, is Noria with the Sir Cleaner. And drum rolls number one is Royal Brinkman with the Nano Bubbles. All right, thank you very much. So let's continue. Uh, in the Netherlands, the Water Alliance is teaming up with Envaqua and WP forming the Water Coalition. And our fifth partner is representing the Water Coalition. Let's see if we have him on the telephone. Ignas, are you there? Hi, Alex, definitely. Okay, Ignas Worm, from, uh, representing the Water Coalition. Ignas, can you briefly tell us how innovative water technology plays an important role in the Water Coalition? Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, uh, this, our society is changing rapidly. Uh, we see climate change, we see a growth of population, and that brings new challenges to, to, all, to all of us. Um, and in this uh, water sector, we are trying to come up with innovations uh, that address the specific challenges. And that is done by existing water technology companies, but also, as we see today, um, a lot of new startups, they, they, they focus and, and build on these challenges and they set up new companies. And these companies are, together with the existing ones, are also our members, uh, Alex from the Water Alliance, from NWP and of Envarqua. So also for that reason, we're really pleased with all these developments and all these companies uh, being active in our sector. Yes. And can you now please give us your top three from the Water Coalition? Yeah, sure. On the third place, we have Susfos. Second place is for Noria. <clears throat> and our number one is for Berghof Membranes. Thank you, thank you. Well, that, that is actually very interesting because uh, now we have had uh, uh, five of our media partners uh, presenting their, their top three. Uh, Farah, could you give us an impression of the uh, rolling score? Of course I can, Alex. And as you can see on the screen, that Royal oh. Brinkman and Noria are on the same place. And we also see a lot of points for Sasfas, but I'm not sure if they can run up to each other again. So I'm not sure if we already have a public jury favorite, um, but I see some pretty good results here. So. 
Let's go back to the studio for the last couple of results. Yes, well, we are almost there. We are moving to our sixth partner. And um, that's also a very special partner. Um, Jeroen Reinhardt from Center of Expertise Water Technology. He is there, the managing director. And today he is representing the Water Campus. Uh, Jeroen, are you on the phone? Yes, Agnes, uh, I'm, uh, I'm here. Good afternoon, all. Good afternoon. Well, Jeroen, um, can you give us a short introduction of the role of uh, Center of Water, Ex uh, water Technology in uh, the Water Campus? Well, as already it was introduced in uh, the uh, movie about Water Alliance, um, CEW takes count of the applied science part of it. So after research and before business is established, um, we take care of, say, the final steps of innovation for entering a market. And that will we do with students of the Universities of Applied Science. Well, thank you very much, Jeroen. And give, you, give us uh, your top three from the Water Campus. And well, for first, it is difficult to give a top three. So first, we want to uh, uh, give an, uh, a big round of applause for all seven of uh, the, the parties, because this gives a broad view of the innovative perspective of the water tech sector in the Netherlands. Um, so that being said, we have to restrict to the top three. And, and on the third place, it is a nice uh, verb that water technology is not only on technology, but also on, on ICT, and that is the smart box of Jotam. On the second place, and um, um, maybe also because bubbles are at this moment of COVID are very of interest, that the specific nano bubbles of Royal Brickman is awarded uh, the second place of the Water Campus parties. And the first place is awarded to uh, our parties to the Sir Cleaner of Noria. Wow, thank you, Jeroen. All right, uh, coming to the end of this uh, part, um, on the international podium, the Water Alliance cooperates together with the Water Tech Hubs in the globe via the Global Water Tech Hub Alliance. And secretary of the GWTHA is uh, Andrew Walker. Andrew, are you there? I'm here, Alex. How are you? I am doing fine. Well, um, I cannot look outside, but it, it sounds that you are calling in from pretty far. Where are you from? I'm not that far away, at least on global terms, but I guess uh, in COVID terms, it's quite far. I'm uh, close to Nuremberg in Germany. All right, all the way from Germany. Maybe, Andrew, not, uh, not everybody knows the GWTHA. Could you tell us very briefly what it is? Sure. Well, if you compare it to the Water Alliance, you're obviously a network in the Netherlands um, and your mission is to foster international collaboration and national collaboration when it comes to water tech innovations. And uh, what we do is to help match you with other hubs around the world so that it becomes a very international effort. So I'm really excited as well to, to see all the seven pitches we've seen here and get to know a, a, a bit more. Uh, because we can help uh, promote that on the global stage. Okay, can we now have the top three of the GWTHA? We can indeed. So the votes are in. Let me get the, uh, the envelope unwrapped here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have three definite winners. Um, and so coming in as the third winner, uh, I was very excited to learn about the reuse of waste for this purpose from Susfos with Susfire. Right. Second place, um, all about making things a lot more efficient, a lot more energy efficient, and treating water extremely innovatively with tubular forward osmosis is a Berghoff membranes. And the first winner, removing plastics, Sir Cleaner from Noria. Wow, thank you, Andrew. That concludes our public votes. And all of you at home, a big thank you for casting out your vote. And also a big thank you to all of our media partners for passing on these votes to us. Well, Agnes, I think everybody would like to know who has won the public jury votes. But Agnes, before we may announce that, how important is the public jury vote 
in the overall competition. Yes, well, it may not be decisive in the overall result, but it does count. Um, I know that the winner has put a lot of effort uh, in mobilizing um, his fans to vote. So we would like to reward the winner of the public jury with a support voucher of 1,000 euros. Well, that sounds great. So let's announce the public jury vote. Let's go to the big screen. Yes. And uh, if we can have, maybe have a kind of a drum roll or something like that before we announce the public jury vote winner. Okay, the public jury vote winner of the WIS 2020 is Sir yes, Peter by Nuria. Yes, wow. Congratulations, Rinza. Um, Thanks a lot. Yeah, you, you are winning a thousand euros of a uh, marketing package. Um, wow. A first quick reaction? Yeah, I'm really thrilled. It's really nice that the public vote uh, was really going to us, since I think actually that's the most important. We want to uh, remove as much of plastic as possible, so if people can spread the word that there is a system that can remove this in a sustainable manner, I think that's really, yeah, magnificent. Mm. Okay, well, um, Farah, would you like to say something to the winner or? Well, or? I do not want to say anything to the winner, but next to congratulating you, Rinse. Oh, I figured <laughs> Rinse would be here on screen, but he's not. Rinse, can you still hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Congratulations with winning this prize. So, Thanks, is there anything you want to say to those who voted for you? Yeah, of course. Thanks a lot. This is really important for us. It's really yeah, important that we have the public vote and that we can now continue removing the plastic in sustainable manners. So thanks. Great. Well, thank you too. And as much as I can congratulate Rinsa on winning this prize, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're that you are already the winner of the WIS 2020 award. So we still have to go to the jury reports which is exciting. So how excited are you guys for that? It is exciting. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I don't want to be taking too much of your time. So let's kill the suspense and go back to the studio real quick. Is that a good idea? All right. Sure. All right. Thanks guys. So back to the studio for the last reports. Yes, welcome back to the final part of this exciting afternoon. Rinse just celebrated his win, but that's just the first stage. The overall competition is determined for one third by the public jury vote and two thirds by the professional jury vote. Now, I think it is time to introduce our professional jury. Yes, well, may I introduce to you our expert jury of the WIS. In no particular order, I would like to begin with our first, and that's Kees Buisman. He is a scientific director of WETSIS, but also the chairman of this expert jury. And then she is not here live, but Cora Uiterlende uh, is also um, a member of the expert jury, and she is a research manager at STOA. Well, we have another woman in this expert jury, a fresh face, and that's Jan Tine van der Meij. Kranendonk and she is director TKE Water Technology and also liaison officer of the Water Campus. And our fourth jury member is Willem Buis and he is also a familiar face, I think. Um, he is CIO of Hatenboer Water. Well, thank you, Agnes. Uh, let me quickly go to the uh, chairman of the jury, Kees. It has been a very unusual year with all the COVID-19 restrictions. And I know at WETSIS you have many international students. How did this year affect at WETSIS? Sorry, Kees, you're, I can't hear you. <laughs> Just <laughs> uh, that's, that's, the problem is this year, all this digital <laughs> stuff. 
<laughs> so uh, in, in Betsis in April, of course, there was a little bit of panic. We have many international students. Uh, the students coming in uh, would have to go in quarantine. They didn't know anyone in Leeuwarden, so how to watch out for these people on their own. Uh, now it seems that everybody is completely used to work at one and a half meter distance. Fortunately, our lab is still open and, uh, and, and we are coping with uh, working from distance. But I think we can do this for one year. But if this will go on for several years, the whole uh, magic of the water campus with all the personal contacts are, is, yeah, will be hampered. So I really hope that we will have the Betis conference back in, in, in October this year. Okay, Kees, not only this year you are chairing the uh, professional jury, you've done that from the start. Huh? But uh, what makes the WIS Award so special? Well, what, what I think is uh, very special in, in the water technology sector is that we have every time so many new contenders with new ideas. And of course, the water sector has to solve huge uh, problems in the world. But uh, that we find this, that we are this innovative every time, that's very impressive. And also this time you find, uh, yeah, seven really interesting uh, technological uh, contenders. And yeah, so this year, yeah, what's special, uh, it, it's a very high quality year. Yes. Well, and also special during this edition of the WIS Award is that everything we had to be done in a digital environment. Well, last week, our candidates had a serious Q&A with a critical expert jury. And trust me, they are really put through the mill. Um, we recorded the Q&A and made a small compilation of it. So have a look. Let's have a look at this compilation. We zijn de WIS Q&A aan het voorbereiden. Goedemorgen. Dan hoor je ons, Alex. Ah, die voor mij doet het wel. Hallo. Goedemorgen allemaal. Laten we gauw beginnen. Simon Jager, presenting SEM4. Uh, do you do not then create a situation where the Russians can take over our entire water system? No, we cannot change the operation of a pump. Second is we have quite good security. My co-founder was chief information officer for one of the largest banks in the world. This candidate will be Rogier Cameron presenting the nano bubbles from Royal Brinkman. So you're transferring and, and, and technology from the water sector, you transfer them to greenhouses. That's your that's your innovation. Uh, yeah, more or less. Uh, we see a huge market also in the horticultural se sector. Uh, almost all greenhouses have large water basins next to their greenhouse, which provide water to the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. These water basins are uh, very susceptible for algae growth. Uh, and we uh, tackle that problem by aerating the water basins with nanobubbles. Uh, Marissa de Boer. Marissa will be presenting Susfire by uh, Susfos. It's a good name, Susfire. Very uh, powerful. <laughs> so in a couple of days to Leeuwarden to the demo site uh, at Wetterskip to produce these 20 tons. Well, they make 20 tons? Mamma mia. Do you have already a client for your 20 tons? Yeah, we have one letter of intent uh, with Butterless Material Solutions. They want 500 tons uh, next year. Uh, they want to be our first launching customer uh, when we have our factory. Claudia Sousa presenting the tubular forward osmosis from Berghof Membrane System. So what's unique on this, uh, with this innovation? Uh, industries uh, like the food and beverage. But now you have to say, why is tubular better? Yes. Why is tubular better? Tubular is better because we can uh, handle much higher uh, solid concentrations. Gerrit will be presenting the uh, smart box 
produced by uh, Jotem. What is so smart about this smart control? There is a, a pressure transmitter before the membrane and after the membrane. And if this of the Delta P, this TMP, exceeds a certain uh, pressure, which you already uh, connected, then uh, the flux will go down. If you look at the maintenance, um, there is almost no maintenance. We have on board Mathieu Wolfs presenting the Fox friendly oxidation by O3 systems. Yeah, but are you thinking about sewer water and treating the medicine rest? Yes, also, yes. Okay. What is the largest largest volume you have treated? Uh, we are just like, a, 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 at this moment, a type of coffee machine. The Rinse de Vries, he will be presenting the Sur Cleaner from Noria. So if there is high water coming, and you know that a lot of plastic will come with the high water, then you can install the the system one day in front and you can remove all the plastic from the water. Who is going to be your client? Who is going to put this uh, first, in first, the water? First, mainly the governmental bodies. Actually, it is a wicked problem. There's not really a problem owner. Well, in a few minutes, we will announce the winner of the Wiz Award 2020. But we and the professional jury would like to thank all the candidates. And thus, all the candidates will receive a jury report. That's a summary of the impression of the professional jury. Yes, Agnes. So uh, let's start with going to our first jury member, uh, Jantien. She is here at the screen, uh, Jantien. Jantien is... <laughs> Hi, Jantien is the director of the TKA uh, uh, Water and Maritime and also liaison officer of the uh, Water Campus. Uh, Jantien, tell us, what, are, what is your daily routine as a professional when you are not busy with the WIS? <laughs> oh, that's a very good question, uh, Alex. <laughs> My daily routine is very diverse. Uh, I uh, read uh, policy uh, documents and uh, give input for the whole water technology sector. Um, and I also talk to uh, companies and knowledge institutes about what they are doing and uh, what their innovation uh, is and their research. Jantien, this is actually your first time as a WIS jury member. Uh, tell yes. us a little bit about your first experience or impressions behind the scene. Yeah, well, first of all, I'm very honored to be a part of the jury this, this year. And uh, I was very curious how it went, but uh, it was all very professionally organized and uh, you did a very good job. And uh, I think we got a lot of information. Thank you. And now, if you would be so kind to present the jury report of the first two candidates. Yes, I will. Uh, SEM4 from Semiotic Labs. Semiotic Labs is an innovative concept to monitor pumps for water companies. It includes a smart sensor and a dashboard that monitors which pumps need preventive maintenance. During the Q&A, Simon assured the jury that there is no cybersecurity threat at all. The video pitch was good. It had a clear product explanation and highlighted the added value very good. The technology is market ready and there are already contacts with water companies. The second one is nanobubbles from Royal Brinkman. It is an innovative concept from the United States to bring more oxygen to the plant roots in greenhouses or help combat algae growth in water basins. During the Q&A, Rogier assured the jury that the innovation is energy efficient. The video pitch was good. It was visually appealing and it had a clear product explanation. The technology is in the validation phase in the Netherlands, and it is not yet market ready. Thank wow. You. Thank you, Jantien. Um, I would like to give the word to uh, Willem Buys, and Willem is also for many years a uh, member of our expert jury. Um, Willem, a short question for you. Uh, what was it like for you to um, judging fully digital? Do we have a connection? Sure, I put my mic on. <laughs> okay. So now you can also hear me. Yes. Um, 
Now, this is new for us. Huh? Normally you have the mic in your hand and then you're sure that it works. Uh, this time you have to uh, uh, adjust a little bit. Um, but I think, uh, like uh, Jan Tine said, uh, it was very well prepared uh, by uh, the Water Alliance. And we got uh, quite some information. And of course, it's uh, always more interesting to, uh, during a day when it's at the conference, you can also talk to uh, the contestants. Yeah. But uh, this time it was really short. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, we got quite some information and we were able to uh, give our verdicts. Well, yes, thank you, Willem. And will you give now us the report of the SUS fire and the Turbia forward osmosis? Sure. Uh, I will start with SUS fire. It's uh, not a full report, but just a short summary. We as a jury, um, we are very impressed by the progress that you have booked over the last year, scaling up from lab scale to a serious industrial pilot scale. We're also pleased to see that you have already made agreements with suppliers of the raw source materials on the one hand and the buyer of the product, the flame retardant, on the other hand. You combine this strong progress with a very positive and enthusiastic presentation. Well, thank you. And then the tubular forward osmosis, uh, Claudia. Um, we as a jury, we like the application of fuel juice industry. Uh, because it's an interesting uh, crossover between food and water technology. The improved flavor conservation compared to alternative techniques is very valuable. Furthermore, this technique has a better environmental footprint than the existing alternative technologies. As a small tip, you can elaborate a bit more maybe on the water recovery side as water is becoming more scarce in many places in the world. In conclusion, we see this as an interesting new membrane with potential for several new applications. Well, thank you, uh, Willem. Uh, thank you also for being a jury member uh, this year. Let's continue to our uh, next jury member, which is uh, Cora Uiterlinde. And Cora is manager at STOA. And um, she is involved at STOA from uh, 2002. And since the start of the WIS Award, she has been an appreciated member of the professional jury. Unfortunately, Cora was not unable uh, to be here in this live broadcast, but she has sent us her uh, video and uh, let's take a look at uh, Cora. Good afternoon. My name is Cora Uiterlinde. I work as a program manager wastewater technology at STOA, the Dutch Foundation for Applied Water Research. I have been a jury member of the WIS Award for several years. The WIS 2020 is special because we don't meet each other in real life, and that is a pity. This year, again, very different innovations were submitted. It is a challenge to judge the innovations, to look at the sustainability, the impact of the innovations, and the business perspectives. It is my honor to address the jury report of the smart box from Jotun Water Treatment. The smart box is a compact water treatment unit based on membrane technology and smart engineering. Jotum claims that drinking water can be prepared from almost any kind of water source. The jury stated that smart box can be a very good solution in remote areas and during disasters. The smart box seems robust and instant ready to use. We wish Jotum's water treatment good luck in this competition and the marketing of the smart box. I wish you all a very good Christmas time, and I hope you can all stay healthy. Goodbye. Well, thank you, Cora. We really appreciate your contribution. And now are we going to do the two last reports? And um, Case will uh, read these two reports. But Case, we are uh, in a really strange time. And do you get the idea that uh, due to the COVID-19, there are yeah, there is a reduction of water technology innovations? Well, uh, that is not completely clear to me because many of these innovations were already presented to us before the COVID uh, time. But when I look at the, at, at the, at the labs uh, that I know, they are all still fully functioning. And, uh, and, and we also had some big yeah, uh, successes in the Netherlands where we're going to build this demo plant for, uh, for uh, bioplastics. Uh, we are running uh, a magnetic uh, phosphate recovery plant, so 
it seems that all this kind of work is, yeah, it keeps continuing. Huh? It's yeah. not stopped. Yes, well, that, that's, that's good to hear. Um, well, could you give us now, please, the two last reports? And they are from the Fox Friendly Oxidation and the Sur Cleaner. <laughs> Yes, I want to say one more thing first, and that the jury uh, all individually uh, gave points, and uh, only uh, their organization knows uh, what the total jury's uh, verdict is. So for the case that you think that we already know who won, <laughs> we don't. So I want to make that clear. So my um, jury report for uh, Fox-friendly oxidation from O3 Systems. Well, uh, it's clear that humanity is making chemicals, millions of chemicals, and some of them are very toxic and completely unbreakable in nature. And there should be, should be a barrier between humanity and nature for these chemicals. And that's not uh, the case at this moment. So the jury was very impressed by the scientific and technological breakthroughs to use these low wavelength lights to destroy these dangerous chemicals uh, completely and make them undangerous. So the jury hopes that O3 systems can scale up this system from a copy machine to, to a much larger scale, so that it can really become this barrier between humanity and nature. So, good luck with that. And the, the second one uh, is surf cleaner. And in the first place, of course, uh, congratulations with your, uh, with your prize. You already have, uh, have one prize. And uh, it's clear that everybody knows the global plastic pollution problem. Eh? And, uh, and we need to solve that. And you have told uh, in your speech that there are 200 hotspots in the Netherlands that can be treated for, by your technology to solve at least the Dutch uh, contribution to this problem. So the jury liked the ingenious system that runs on energy river and is fish friendly. So um, we hope that Noria system proves also international competitive and that they con can contribute on a global scale to the solution of this problem. We wish you good luck with that. Thank you, Case. Well, this is really exciting. Within a few minutes, we will know who will be the WIS winner of 2020. The winner with, uh, wins a marketing support package of 10,000 euros. Well, um, do you need a quick recap of all the candidates? We summarize it for you, so stay tuned. And now we're coming to the end of this competition. But before we announce the winner, maybe it's good to go to the Blue Room and check the latest state there. Farah. Great idea, Alex. So this is what everybody's competing for. It's the WIS 2020 award. And we are beyond thrilled to give this prize to one of the candidates, but I can't imagine what it must be like for you guys. So how bad do you want to win the award? Marissa? Yeah, this award, it, it is very special, especially in the water tech industry. Uh, it, it, it is really the, the cherry on the pie. It is, it is. So do you know the expression when one touches something and it turns into gold? Well, I, I, don't, I don't have that. You know, everything I touch basically drops on the floor. So I'm going to quit stalling and I'm going over back to the studio 
for the big announcement. Yes. Well, I want to invite Hein Molkum, manager, managing director of Waterlines, to the stage. Hein, will you come up? Of course. Well, <laughs> sure. The number one. Yes, that, the yes, that's the number one. Um, Hein, what did you think about these candidates of 2020? Well, what I really like is that we see there's so many variety, not only in technologies, but also in, in sizes of companies who uh, are doing this type of innovation. We saw startup companies in, in, the, in the group. We, we see grown-up companies who have a, a real mature <coughs> market already for a long time, but still keep on innovating. And that's, I think, the great thing in water technology. That yes. it is, uh, has a wide variety. Yes, well, I, think, I do think too. And um, I think we are going now to the Blue Room because Alex arrived in the Blue Room with Farah. Yes, thank you, Agnes. <laughs> I'm here uh, joining Farah in the Blue Room. We and are social distancing, though, on, so on, no worries on at all. One and a half meter, eh? <laughs> and in between, our chairman of the, of the jury, uh, Case. <laughs> Hi there. Um, Hi, Kees. I just want to make sure uh, that, uh, like you said, uh, just a minute ago, you didn't have a notice who actually won. Uh, but if all is well, you have received the winner by WhatsApp or by a text message by now. Is that true? Yes. Yes, I okay. A, That's okay. That's, WhatsApp, That's so, okay. Uh, but don't, don't announce it. Don't <laughs> announce it yet, right? I just wanted to check it. Um, Case, you have been chairman of the uh, jury for the six editions. Uh, without telling who is the winner, right, since you know it now, how does the winner compare to the winners that we had in previous years? Uh, it's, it's in a completely different category ever. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a new category for the Water Alliance uh, to support. So I'm very curious. How that it will go? How that will go next year? And if they also will win the, the Las Vegas uh, prizes <laughs> All right. and, and join in a Netflix documentary? Okay. So Farah, if you could take the uh, bocal, eh? Really? Uh, are, are you sure? Yes. Don't drop Entirely it. Entirely sure. Drop okay. It. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we case, go. Are you ready? Wait for the drum roll, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is the official part. Uh, we are going to reveal the winner of the. WIS 2020 <coughs> award, but before we are going to do that, I would like to thank all candidates. They have done a tremendous good job, and to me, all of them are actually winners. But at the end, only one can really win the prize. So if I could have a drum roll, and after that case, please announce us the winner of the WIS 2020. <laughs> Yes, the winner. The 2020 winner is Sam Four, pitched by Simon Jagers from Semiotic Labs. From oh, okay. yes. 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 Wow. Wow. <laughs> Super. Boy. Well, and you can stick the prize to the winner. Simon. Yes. Wow. <coughs> with this new winner. Uh, Simon, congratulations. Uh, well, normally you should be here in between us, but now you have the number one on the left side of your head, being the winner of uh, WIS 2020. And uh, best of luck. And I've, we've seen each other already many times in, in uh, various countries, so I'm sure you make the best out of it. Simon, again, best of the luck. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching the grand final of the WIS 2020 and we for sure have enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed it too. Uh, we like to thank the public jury, our media partners and our professional uh, jury and also a compliment to all of our candidates. Yes, Alex, we have had really nice uh, candidates and also a great winner. I want to conclude with a save the date for our annual Waterlink event on 18 February. And so keep your eyes peeled and 
look at our website for some update, uh, updates. And on behalf of the whole team of Water Alliance, we are uh, thank you for watching and uh, a very Merry Christmas and a very healthy 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.